Back in uh, August 2015, I started collecting British TV shows on DVD. And shown here are my all my Region 1 uh, British TV shows on DVD. Or at least most of them. Um, there's a few. There's there, You can see they're hidden behind. More of them are hidden behind there. So there's like three rows of them. These are all my Region 1 DVDs. Um, I'll maybe make another video showing those, but right now I want to show you another section of my house where I have Region 2 DVDs. And over here by my computer is my selection of Region 2 DVDs. I have some down here in the bottom as well. Um, I started getting Region 2 DVDs in October 2015, about two months after I started collecting British TV shows on DVD. And these ones are DVDs that will uh, only play on uh, DVD players that are um, Region 2. So I don't have a Region 2 DVD player, but I have a computer that uh, I play them on because I've changed the uh, format so it'll play all regions. And so I'll show you what these DVDs look like. And now we'll take a closer look at some of these DVDs. This is a ITC series called Strange Report. Uh, it's put out by Network, which puts out a lot of these uh, British TV shows. And it comes with a cool booklet. And I have a bunch of BFI uh, releases. Out of This World from the 1960s, the only surviving episode. Supernatural, I think, is from the 70s. There's ghost stories but from the BBC, like M.R. James adaptations. Dead of Night uh, is from the early 70s. There's only three uh, surviving episodes. Children's Film Foundation, Scary Stories. This is three, uh, they, they were movies that were shown in uh, theaters uh, for kids. Um, there's a whole series of those. That's the only one I have of that. Uh, the Woman in White, BBC. It's like early 80s. Scorpion Tales uh, from the 1970s. The Nightmare Man, uh, written by Robert Holmes, if I remember, is early 80s. Mystery and Imagination, this is a really cool one. Um, it was a 1960s series. Uh, there's only about six episodes that survive. Um, but it's really cool. Some of these have uh, Region 1 uh, releases as well, like Sapphire and Steel. Um, but I tend to prefer the... Uh, the Region 2, getting the Region 2 versions. And just dig through more of this box here. Uh, Beast, 1970s series by Nigel Neal. Another BFI release, Around the World with Orson Welles from the 1950s. The Protectors, now this is different from the 1970s uh, Protectors starring Robert Vaughn. This is a 1960s series that's in black and white. And Armchair Cinema, this was a spinoff of Armchair Theater and uh, arm, preceding Armchair Thriller. Um, it was This is actually a Region Zero uh, release, so it can be played in uh, a lot of DVD. I, I can play it on one of my DVD players. Uh, this is actually an Australian release, um, but it's of feature-length uh, films. Now here's Armchair Thriller Volume 1. This has shows from the early 70s. Volume 2 of Armchair Theater, and then paradoxically, Volume 3 and 4 have uh, episodes from the 1960s, a lot of the black and white, and also the late 50s. There's a Patrick McGowan uh, episode in here where he plays an astronaut. Uh, I'll show you some more DVDs here in a minute. And I have another box here, so we'll just go through these. The Strange World of Gurney Slade, starring Anthony Newley. Uh, this is a remarkable 1960 uh, series done on film and instead of video, and it's way ahead of its time. It's a classic. Some Catherine Cooks, and I have another one here, too, if I can find it offhand. Um, I'm a fan of Amelia Fox, who starred in uh, Stars and Silent Witness. Who I have some of those. The Buccaneers, another ITC series. Uh, this one's from the 1950s. It's from Robert Shaw. A lot of these I got really cheaply on uh, eBay. This is a, a, a challenge for Robin Hood. This is actually a film. Um put out by Hammer Films in 1967 in full color. It's a, and here's another uh, Robin Hood. This is a BBC series from uh, 1975, I believe. Here's The Protectors, the 1970 series that I had mentioned earlier. This is a seven-disc set. Uh, Gemina, Gem, Jemima, well, it's Jemima, I think, sure, investigates, starring Patricia Hodge 
and this uh, one of these episodes has Tom Baker in it. Three disc set. The District Nurse. There was uh, a few seasons of this that were done, but this is, I believe, the only se uh, this season one. Uh, Neris Hughes, who'd starred in the uh, Doctor Who uh, story Kinda, um, she was in this one. Um, but as far as I know, only the first season has been released on DVD. The Charmer, star starring Nigel Havers. Um, I think that's from probably from the 1980s. I have two copies. I'm going to sell one of these eventually. Of the uh, Black and White Callan episodes from the 1960s starring Edward Woodward. I just happen to have uh, two because I got one that has a lot. And here's all the color episodes. Uh, of Kale, and I have this in Region 1 as well. Uh, as far as I know, the black and white episodes that I had showed earlier haven't been released in uh, the U.S. Here is a Kalen movie, I think from the late 70s or early 80s, it's called Wet Job, where it's a TV uh, TV movie, and then this is the Kalen film from the 1970s, and this was also Region 2. BBC series Paul Temple from, I think, 1968 to about 71 or 72. Uh, there's a lot of episodes missing of this uh, series, so this has all available episodes. Uh, now, there have been some that have been recovered since in Germany, um, but it, it doesn't contain those, but um, a lot of those are missing the original English soundtracks. This is a cool series of villains, four discs set with a it's a sort of an anthology of about these escaped criminals, and each episode features a different um shows Bob Hoskins on the front, but he's not in every episode. He's in, only in a couple, I think. Uh, but some really good. Uh, Martin Shaw is in a really good one. I think it's like episode two or so. The Corridor People from 1966. This was a sort of attempt to do a uh, Avengers type uh, series, but it only lasted four. Four episodes. We'll take a look at that one later in the in the computer. The Caesars this is from like 1968 or something like that. It's a uh, sort of about the uh, well, the Caesars, uh, sort of a historical anthology. And Piece of Cake, uh, I believe from the early 80s or so, maybe late 80s. It's a uh, a wartime uh, a flying uh, drama. Okay, I got another stack here of uh, Region Twos. We'll just go through those real quickly. This is a uh, two-disc set of Doctor Who, Shada, and More Than 30 Years in the TARDIS, a documentary from the early uh, 1990s about Doctor Who. One of the prizes of my collection, this Adamant, Adam Adamant Lives, uh, it's a uh, five-disc set of the uh, surviving, 17 surviving episodes of the 1966-67 um, BBC uh, TV series. It was sort of like, it was from the producer uh, Verity Lambert, who had uh, earlier done Doctor Who. And it's sort of like an attempt to do a sort of campy Avengers type series. I love it. It's one of my favorites. This is an oddball uh, DVD. I, I'd never gotten a Dutch import before. This is actually uh, a, a Dutch import that I bought on uh, eBay of a uh, Tale of Two Cities, produced by Barry Letts in 1980, Barry Letts having been a, previously a Doctor Who producer. And uh, it's two to set. I don't believe it's ever been released in the U.S., um, but uh, there is, I got this for a lot cheaper than I would have gotten the uh, British version of it. So now here's a bunch of doc Region 2 Doctor Whos. I do have a lot more Region 1 Doctor Who episodes. Tomb of the Cybermen, The Three Doctors, The Seeds of Doom, The Creature from the Pit, Black Orchid, and then this is the recent uh, release, Class, uh, Series 1. Hopefully there will be a Series 2, but it doesn't look too likely uh, right now due to poor ratings, evidently. And I had mentioned uh, Amelia Fox earlier. Uh, she stars in Silent Witness. This is Series 11 and 12. It's a six-disc set. That the eBay seller, Rare Waves, a uh, UK seller, has been selling for like about $12, which is a really good buy. Uh, speaking of good buys, I'd gotten series 18, 19, and 20 for around 10 bucks on eBay. I mean, to 10 bucks total. It was a great bargain. Series tw uh, 20 being the most recent series to be released on DVD. Uh, it originally was starred uh, Amanda Burton, who uh, here she is in peak practice. And uh, I have the first four seasons of Peak Practice, which is a medical uh, drama, also long-running. 
uh, Heartbeat. This is an, another long-running series. This is actually series one. Um, it goes on for several series. Uh, currently played on TVO in Canada. And Love in a Clo Cold Climate, uh, starring Judy Dench. This is from the early 1980s. And here's a, another set of DVDs. Kavanaugh, I have all five seasons. Kavanaugh QC, starring a John Thaw. Uh, this one, I wasn't, you know, I, the only reason I bought it was it was cheap. But then I found, after watching it, that I, I love the series. So I'd gotten the first two seasons, and then later I bought on Amazon UK about the uh, remaining seasons. It's great law drama, and uh, John Thaw is incredible. Uh, Roy Marsden stars in, stars in The Sandbaggers. This is the complete series. I have one season of this on Region 1, but uh, I liked it so much, and it was hard to get the Region 1 DVDs that I just went and bought the Region 2. Hene, starring Robert Powell, uh, is a sort of a, a sequel to The 39 Steps. Uh, that's from the 1980s. <clears throat> also from the 1980s, I have By the Sword Divided. Um, this is series one. There were actually two series of it. And uh, um, it aired in uh, the early 80s on Masterpiece Theater. Uh, trying to get series two, though, it's really expensive and hard to get. Uh, you almost never see Region 2 DVD sets at thrift stores around here in the U.S. Um, but these two I actually bought at thrift stores in the U.S. This is the complete series of Absolutely Fabulous, at least prior to the 2008, I believe it is, uh, revival. I'm not particularly a fan of Absolutely Fabulous, but this was only like three bucks. And this is a later season of a seventh series of Red Dwarf. And again, I'm not particularly a fan of Red Dwarf, but it was only like two or three bucks, so I can pass it up. The goodies, I bought this on uh, eBay for super cheap. These are some of the ones that I haven't even watched yet. This is another Catherine Cookson uh, adaptation. There's a bunch of Catherine Cookson TV movies from the 80s and 90s and so on. This is another Queen's Castle. It's a documentary, a BBC documentary. A Mind to Kill. I haven't even watched this, but again, I got them cheap, so at some point I will watch them. The Michael Parkinson in, uh, collection, a collection of interviews. The Comedy of Errors, Shakespeare play. I don't believe this has been released in the U.S., starring Judy Dungeon and Francesca Annis. This is an American TV series that has a Region 2 DVD release, but I don't believe it's ever been uh, released in the U.S., Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends. Um, I'm not that crazy about the picture quality on here. I mean, it's all right, but it's not that hot. Uh, some series like The Baron, I actually have... This is Region 2, but I actually also have this in a Region 1 set as well. The Region 2 set, I believe, is, uh, is in the order of transmission order. I think, and the bear, uh, the region one is in um, production order, but this comes with a bunch of bonus features. Speaking of bonus features, I got these super cheap. I don't even have a Blu-ray player, but this is a region-free Blu-ray set from Network of the Professionals, the uh, late '70s, early '80s uh, crime drama. And the amazing thing about this is not only you know, does it come with Blu-rays, but there's also, you know, not only the, the Blu-ray sets in here, but also each of them comes with a super thick viewing notes book by TV historian Andrew Pixley that is insanely detailed. Uh, and I bought, I got these on eBay for like 10 bucks total. Uh, it was an incredible buy. And speaking of uh, good buys, this was, I got this on, this is the complete series of Tenko, uh, which had Louise Jameson in it, who played Leela on Doctor Who. It's from the early 80s. Uh, the entire series, I got this for like 10 bucks on eBay. Another awesome eBay win, Sharp, the complete, uh, the, it's the complete series except for the later, in the 2000s, there were some more Sharp movies that were done. These are all the originals from the 1990s, and all remastered and in widescreen and so forth. Man in a Suitcase, uh, an ITC series. I'm not that crazy about the lead actor, uh, an American, as in so many ITC series, but uh, another good bargain. And not crazy about the packaging of this one. This is the complete series of The Tomorrow People, all 68 episodes in a 15 DVD set. But the thing is, this clamshell thing, they put DVDs on top of each other and so forth. I mean, it's, at least it's the whole series. I think I bought this on Amazon. It was really cheap, but uh, it was a good bargain nonetheless. And some more uh, awesome uh, eBay buys. 
The Adventures of Robin Hood, the 1950s ITC series starring Richard Green, containing, well, it's 140-some episodes, 18-disc set. I got it for like five bucks. The Strangers, 10-disc set, 19, late 70s, uh, early 80s cop show. This also contains a bunch of bonus features, uh, an episode of New Scotland Yard, an episode of uh, Crown Court, and an episode of Crossroads from the 1970s. Uh, Michael Wood Collection. This is a collection of documentaries by uh, Michael Wood. And I've been a longtime fan of his uh, documentaries. And you can see them right there from the 80s, 90s, and, and 2000s. Uh, another ITC series, Department S. Uh, deal, sort of like an Avengers type thing. If you like the Avengers, you would like this. I, Peter Wingard stars as Jason King. I also have Jason King uh, in a Region 1 collection. Another ITC series, Randall and Hopkirk Deceased. This is the ghost, and this is the non-ghost. And they sort of solve crimes. Uh, Brian Clemens, who was a producer for the Avengers, uh, this is 1970 series thriller. I have season one of this on a Region 1, and I also used to have the whole collection also on Region 1, but I didn't like the picture quality as much as I liked on the Region 2, so I sold the Region 1, and actually, you know, it... Paid for the new one. Armchair Thriller from the 1970s. A bunch of crime-type uh, dramas. They were uh, in serial format. And then finally, we have The Avengers. These are the Region 2. That's, that's actually the last season. Uh, Linda Thorson. This is the Black and White. Diana Rigg series. Uh, Honor Blackman's second series. And then Honor Blackman's first series. Plus the original... Uh, um, surviving episode three, surviving episode three, and two and a half actually of uh, the first series from uh, starring Ian Hendry and uh, Patrick McNee. And these I much prefer to the Region One versions. Uh, they have be better picture quality, but there's also loaded with bonus features and so on. Um, I'll show you a little bit of these uh, here when I get the chance. And I have every season on Region One. I mean, on Region 2, except for uh, uh, Diana Riggs' uh, color season. I don't have that on Region 2. I have that on Region 1 instead. Uh, so I'll show you what these look like in a minute. The uh, Series 1 set comes with a lot of uh, bonus things. It's Series 1 and 2, actually. But it comes with some bonus little booklet, uh, Episode 1 Guide. And it's pretty amazing. Um, there's all sorts of clippings about the show. You won't find in telesnaps of uh, lost episodes. You won't find anything like this for the Region 1 release. So uh, I definitely recommend looking into getting the Region 2 DVDs and uh, getting a Region 2 compatible player, com uh, converting your uh, computer DVD drive to uh, Region 2. Okay, and I just uh, popped in a uh, disc from the Region uh, 2, Series 2 uh, DVD set. And we just... Uh... Now, some of the cool things about this is that they have um, video introductions by some of the um, uh, cast members. Like, there's a video introduction by Julie Stevens, who had uh, played uh, a, a character... Um, Oh, what was her name? Ah, uh, well, I've forgotten. <laughs> but uh, uh, she was a character that, instead of Honor Blackman, they had her. She was a, a singer that uh, I played. And so here we go. See? Uh, and uh, Julie Stevens uh, uh, played Venus Smith. That was the name I was trying to remember. And uh, in one of these, we have uh, sort of a uh, introduction by uh, Julie Stevens. Hello, I'm Julie Stevens, and I play Venus Smith in this episode of The Avengers, which is the box of tricks. It was directed by Kim Mills and written by Peter Lane and Edward Rose. And this episode is my third. So the first two, I was a sultry talk singer, and then the director, the producer changed, and he wanted somebody younger and brighter. So instead of changing the, the actor, 
they changed the style of acting. So I became boo 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 and short hair, you know, so soon the card. And uh, here is a whole bunch of uh, uh, Now these are film uh, stills that uh, you can access on the uh, computer. Now there's also PDF files on here too, so where you can read scripts of uh, the various episodes um, and so forth. Um, anyways, I'd mentioned earlier about the uh, Corridor People, uh, the 1966 series that uh, has never been released on uh, Region 1. It never aired in the U.S. as far as I know. It only ran four episodes. And Network uh, put out this um, DVD of the series. Um, and it's kind of interesting. It stars Elizabeth Shepard, uh, who was the first choice to replace uh, Honor Black, uh, to replace Honor Blackman instead of Diana Rigg uh, in The Avengers in 1965. Uh, she did like one episode that has been lost, and they ended up redoing it with Diana Rigg. Um, we'll just cut ahead here to uh, er, later in the uh, in the show. And, Weeks. And when kind uh, of food? Let's go down to let's see. Nine of Hence this. Uh, Quat. This is a list of their birds. See this. Uh, an osprey. He's there. Sergeant Hunt said to you. Oh, uh, Bukmanisht, Jim Kulif, uh, Yiddish expression of disbelief. What does it mean in English? Don't hit me with a teapot. This is an interesting scene with an unusual use of uh, framing. There's Elizabeth Shepard. Playing Siri Van Epp, who was a villainous in this uh, series. And that that white block is supposed to be there. It's supposed to angle the eye towards towards the scene. Then he goes unconscious, and then finally fades back into consciousness. You can't go on doing this for now. Putting me in a coma. Dragging me back out again. Law, diminish and return. Art, won't stand it. I'm very thirsty. I thought you might be. Well, yeah, Elizabeth Shepard is great in this. Uh, you know, has this sinister sort of quality. Uh, but anyway, so this is an example of why I'm uh, such a fan of Region 2 oh, DVDs. Weeks. You know, the ability to watch to shows the that you uh, wouldn't be able to watch to otherwise. So anyways, that uh, pretty much does it. That's uh, showing my Region uh, 2 DVD collection. Maybe at some point I'll show my Region 1 collection in more detail. Uh, it's amazing to think I only started collecting these in... Uh, I, I, my first Region 2 DVD was in October 2015, and right now it's September 2017, so within two years, I've gotten quite, a, uh, quite an amount of uh, Region 2 releases. Only, uh, only available in the UK, but now here in the US. Uh, thanks for watching.